Hi there, I'm Amy Jo Kim, co-founder of the Game Thinking Academy. Now, we all know that to create a successful product, you need to figure out and then deliver what your customer needs. Now, that sounds straightforward, but in practice, it's much harder to do this than it sounds. And nobody knows this better than my friend, UX expert, Jared Spool. In a recent private chat with our Academy students, Jared explained why it's so important to understand your customer's problem and so easy to be misled by what they say they want. Listen in and absorb some of Jared's wisdom. Where do you stand on the customers don't know what they want discussion? What kind of useful and reliable information can we get from potential customers during an interview? I don't really care what customers want. <laughs> That's where I stand. I, I'm more interested in what they need. And a lot of people don't know what they need. So I would agree that statement is, is probably true. Right now, I want ice cream, but I probably shouldn't have ice cream. I definitely don't need ice cream, but I, I really want ice cream. So, so, uh, Oh my God, now I want ice cream. See what I mean? It happens. And, 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 uh, I'm going to bet that you're in a similar situation. Needs are more important. And the real issue isn't that customers don't know what they need. We have trained humans to talk in the language of solution. So they talk about solutions. Someone walks into the hardware store and they go up to the person in the orange bib and they say, I need that tape that you wrap around pipes to stop leaks. And the teenager in the orange bib is going to say, yeah, I know exactly where that is. That's aisle 15, bay 21. And they'll be right. That's exactly where the tape is that you can wrap around pipes to stop leaks. But that's not what the person probably needs because they have a leak and you can't fix leaks with a piece of tape. And that's just going to create more problems down the road. And they're going to be bad problems when they're created. A real plumber would come in and say, hold on, before I give you tape, let me go look at this leak. And yeah, this is not your problem. Your problem is something else. And let me deal with that. So we need to shift people to the problems that they have. There's an old saying, which is great designers don't fall in love with their solutions. Great designers fall in love with the problem. So the more we all understand the problem, the better off we are. And when we do that, we become better at seeing what folks need than they can see themselves because they don't know the problem space. They only know their one little view of it. And it's very myopic. For more tips on better, faster product design, join our free worldwide game thinking community at gamethinking.io slash hub. See you there.